very good morning to students welcome to the online class today we are going to discuss on anemometer clearance the anemometer clearance is a, a a document a certificate issued by the moef and state anemometer impact assessment authority or agencies for the continuing clearance and running operations of the industries or any road project oil industries mineral industries and also the thermal power plants which are the uh, in around the society so actually the environment clearance is required by central government to have their powers the based on the uh, uh, environmental impact assessment notification 2006 they required to the the every project has to prior to the process of industry they required to need a clearance certificate from the these two agencies so here we are going to discuss on the what are the stages of the environmental clearance there are a 6 4 4 2 5 6 uh, stages are there for getting the environmental clearance certificate there are a screening and scoping public consultations appraisals clearance and post clearance the fall coming to the first one screening what is the mean by screening screening is a a process of the a stakeholders they have three number of stakeholders there in this process the first one is a, a project owner or industry owner he is a first stakeholder and second hold is a consultants the who is preparing for the uh, mediator between the uh, authority issuing authority and pro project pro proponent or project owner so another third uh, stakeholder is the 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 power the agencies that is a mof is a one is the authority that is appraisal committee members are there another is a uh, state uh, level and also sometimes district levels also there so as per the notification of the eia 2006 they have to prepare and uh, submit to the in online process the online process they giving the registered and login id according to that one they are submitting the um, online to the environment clearance uh, portal uh, there is a tors is where your word is using terms of references this is a document here they will be submitting the online the screening process they are categorized whether this project is coming to the a category or b category what is the mean by a category and b category the uh, the, the, the categorized uh, ec is the a category means the central government is issuing the certificate there is a minister of environment forest and climate change and the b category is the b1 and also b2 the sub classes is there the state environment impact assessment authority is giving the clearance certificate we are coming to the what are the a and b we can observe here there is a chart given for the project the thermal projects all coal lignite and gases based plants and also uh, naphtha power plants those plants 50 5500 megawatts or more megawatts of more these are coming to the category a. and category b is the Uh, less than 500 megawatts they called as a category b so according to the capacity of the power uh, the category is category b similarly coming to the our mining projects is concerned there will be area i that is 50 acres or more they coming to the fall into category a uh, if less than 50 acres and uh, below 5 uh, acres they fall into the category b similarly uh, airport ships um oil gases and pipelines are established these are transportation equipment all such projects coming to the category a and remain uh, municipal waste management effluent transportation these are coming to the category b again you have to divide into category b1 b2 is there depending upon the that uh, stable uh, uh, affecting nations and also sometimes b1 b2 uh, categories also sometimes the, the central government will be um, permission required from the Uh, union government that is the central government permission to confer that the specific areas is for example two states uh, boundaries the project is going on that required the um, mof clearance certificate sometimes there will be a um, national park or sensitive areas or um, some um, um, endangered species falling in that area or forest reserve forest uh, specific areas so sometimes the b1 b2 category also they required the uh, permission from the mof coming to the next point this is scoping this is scoping is the the authority the, the authority can be going and check 
uh, whether the, the project is following the category 1, category B or the submitted cost is as per the uh, feasibility is there. According to that one, the scoping uh, authority can be checking by sometimes this optional is there, they can visit that uh, project and uh, they observe the what are the um, damages is going on, that is the soil or water, uh, socio-economic situations, so, um, uh, damage is scaling. These will be uh, repairable, uh, repairable, everything will be coming to scoping factors. And coming to the, the very important th third is the public consultation. Public consultations means they could be public meeting. They, they, uh, particularly in the local Gram Panchayat, the Jilla Parishad, the district collector will also participate in the, the committee. And majorly this, uh, this uh, the, the, the environment is created by the, um, in the state pollution control board authority. They are going and uh, um, conduct the meeting is specified in the uh, one um, date. That day the local peoples are coming in and express their the minutes can be recorded, the minutes can be published in the uh, newspapers or in a regional language as well as uh, local, uh, what is the uh, central government uh, newspaper, central government, major uh, re, re, other than the uh, regional languages uh, and also the notification of the, um, the public hearing, the particular date, it will be uh, prior primary given that day. Um, they do not require any quorum. That means if two persons are attended, that is a final. Yet that minutes will be recorded and also that will be printed in the documentation. And coming to the appraisal. So then um, the, all the EBO after completed, they get the authority. The, the, the two authorities are there. So for B category and A category, depending upon they are giving the appraisal report. Um, this is a con sub conditions. They are giving the uh, issue in the certificate. That certificate is the mention there. Social economic situation, rehabilitation conditions, uh, soil uh, damaging permanent, also how he will be uh, promising the undertaking according to that one, the clearance certificate issuing to the, the concerned projects. So then the post clearance also one of the important factor. Post clearance means um, what are the assurances giving? They should be follow the afterwards also. These two are the responsible for agencies, the government's authorities for the after uh, project uh, during a project, also they monitoring the every whether they the they, they fulfilling the the conditions what are the given earlier or not they can be checked any time in the during the processing of the uh, project. So overall the um, uh, the EC is the uh, based on these uh, these stages and um, the environmental clearance is assurance giving to the uh, protecting the overall or environment based on the our environmental protection act. Uh, spirit, uh, motive or the objective it can be fulfilled as well as uh, recently uh, 2020 the new notification EA notifications uh, draft uh, released according to that one the coming projects that is a uh, 2020 uh, onwards there will be new notification based on that one some challenges are uh, the facing the, uh, uh, the different uh, agencies or problems are arisen rapid EA is there so, uh, another one is a uh, um, the detailed EA is most of the projects uh, are going rapidly because of the time bound uh, situations. Moreover, another thing is after getting the EC, they are negligencing the uh, different activities. But example, they are uh, they are mentioned in the EA is um, ensure is given the, the effluent level. Then later on they are forgetting the the processing details. So this should not be addressed uh, some EA, um, EA notification. So that challenge can be encountered coming uh, 2020 uh, new notification dropped. So I think you can under, um, uh, well, we are all discussed in the, uh, we are the part of the uh, environmental clearance uh, topic. Uh, I think you are enjoyed this uh, today class. Um, thank you very much.